Welcome back to another episode of After the License. I'm your host, Jeff Bittner. And as always, make sure you're checking out the podcast and the YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, click in the description. We have a ton of free goodies like how to build your database, your sphere of influence, a free e-course. I've got a link to my Facebook mastermind group where everyone's welcome to join and ask questions uh, that we discuss here or elsewhere. And uh, we have links to a few other resources down there as well. Well, today we're going to touch on how much money you should save if you're planning on getting into real estate sales. So this is again another common question for new agents. They're getting their real estate license, they're excited about uh, possibly starting a new career, but they realize that they're probably not going to have too many real estate sales right in the beginning. So they say, how much should I save for? And this is a fantastic question. And what, what makes it tough though is everyone's expenses and everyone's kind of output of their income is different. And so you should really think about a couple different things. First off, you should understand that there's a cost to getting your real estate license. And I do a whole video breaking down the different costs, the different things you have to think about, the different things you have to sign up for. So I'll put a link to that video uh, here in uh, if you're watching on YouTube. And then above and beyond that, you are going to have to have some money saved if you're planning on diving in full time and not working some other type of part time or full time job. So what does that look like? Well, ultimately, I can't give you a dollar figure because everyone's expenses are different. But a good rough estimate is six months savings, if possible. Before you jump into real estate full time, you should either you should save for about six months of your bills. And the reason why I say this to people is because again, real estate takes time. If you start real estate today, even if you find someone next week that's ready to buy a house, that process takes some time. You're gonna have to find a house, you're gonna have to show it to them, you're gonna have to negotiate the contract and get it accepted. And right now in 2021, we're dealing with a crazy market. So it could take you a few rounds of that before something actually sticks. And then once it sticks, it can take you know 30, 45, sometimes even 60 days for that thing to close. So it's not unrealistic to expect maybe six months of dead time before you have any income coming in. So that is a really good starting amount. If, if I was starting and, and I was had another full-time job and I said, you know, I'm gonna quit my job and get into real estate full-time today, I would want to have six month savings. And then I would just know, hey, I'm going all in on this. I'm doing everything I can. I'm lead generating every single day. I'm previewing homes every single day. I'm doing everything I can to build my business because I have six months before my money runs out and I want to start making some money ASAP. So six months is a good figure, but also if you're brand new and you haven't started the licensing process, realize that there's a cost to get your license as well. So Make sure you check out that video. And if you're brand new, I do a video on your first 30 days in real estate, what I would do every single day if I was brand new and got my license today. So make sure you check out that video as well. I'll put a link up here. But hopefully that helps. Prepare and plan for about six months savings or really six months with no income and figure out what that looks like for you. And that's a good gauge and parameter uh, for kind of what you need to be saving before you get into real estate. Okay, guys, drop a comment below what questions you have on this. How much money did you save before you got into real estate? And what else can I help you with? I'd love to answer uh, all the comments and sometimes even do episodes based on what you guys ask. So let me know what I can help with and I'll catch you next time.